Hi, this is problem three from the 2017 AIM. For a positive integer n, let d sub n be the units digit of the sum one through n. Find the remainder when this sum is divided by a thousand. Okay, so I'm not quite sure how to start this. Now I know that the sum one through n is equal to n times n plus one divided by two but I don't know how to pull out the units digit from this formula. So I'm gonna use my go-to method for most sequence and series problems, and I'm gonna to try to examine some examples of the, uh, the sequence and see if I can look for patterns. So let's try to examine d sub n for various values of n. So let's start with our list here. We'll go from one to 10 just to start. Try to calculate d sub n. So 1 d sub n is 1, add 2, the unit's digit is 3, add 3, the unit's digit is 6, add 4, the unit's digit is 0, add 5, the unit's digit is 5. Okay, this is pretty easy because since we're just dealing with the unit's digit, we can ignore any of the tens or hundreds digits that pop up in this calculation. So we should be able to generate this list pretty quickly going forward. So add six, that gives you a unit's digit of one, seven, eight, then six, five, five. Okay, I don't see a pattern, so let's uh, continue this a little bit further. N of 11, 12. Let's go out to 20. Okay, so here again, we can ignore the tens digit, and that makes uh, generating this list pretty quick. Add two gives you eight. One, five, zero, six, three, one, zero, zero. Okay, we have zero at a zero place on our ends list. So that's pretty encouraging because when we go to N of 21, 22, 23, looks like D sub N is gonna give us one, three, and six. And it looks like this is gonna repeat the same digits that we found here, starting from one. And that's really the key now, because we see that the repeating block distance is 20 numbers. And that helps us uh, calculate this now, because we see that 2017 is equal to 100 blocks of 20 plus a remainder of 17. And the 100 blocks of 20 are pretty easy to calculate now because we can just multiply this repeating pattern times 100. So let's calculate uh, the sum d sub n from 1 to 20. And calculating this, we have 10, 30, 40. This adds up to 40. This column here, we have... 20 plus another 10. So this adds up to 30. The sum of the block from 1 to 20 adds up to 70. We have 100 blocks of 20. So we know the sum from 1 to 2,000 is equal to 7,000. So now we just have to calculate the remainder block from 1 through 17. And then again, that just uh, follows the repeating pattern that we identified. So let's count up the sum 1 through 17. So here again, that's 40 plus 20 plus 9. So this sums out to 69. And that tells us that this sum is equal to 7,000 plus 69. Dividing by 1,000, this doesn't really matter. And that leaves us with a final answer of 69. Anyway, another good example of examining a sequencer series to look for patterns. Hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.